Hello everybody, Electric Wolf, and welcome back to the Wolf Pack. Today I've got for you some guys, the Wolf Among Us. So, apparently this game is based off of a comic series that had like 50,000 comics in it or something. Apparently very popular and a lot of people loved it. Personally, I only found out because I watched her play it. But yeah, um... Oh jeez, it's been forever since I've seen Craig play it. Yeah, so I know a little bit about this game. Just said I watched Cry play it. However, I don't remember because it was like two years ago. Most of it's just. I remember, there's some really cool aspects to it. So yeah, connecting flower. Come on, flower, you can do it. Do it, bottom right corner, flower, you can do it. Oh. Yeah. See, like, look at that. Some settings. Um. I'm gonna look for subtitles. Mm hmm? Okay, I don't think there's a subtitle option. Because I can turn that on for you guys. It was. Um. Yeah! Only the best! Man, look at that! It looks so cool! I remember, like, the graphics and stuff from what I saw looked amazing. Oh! That's cool. Here's, let's play this. What? 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 I never played what? That's so weird. I never even touched this game before. That's. But. What? I, I, you know, I'm not gonna question it. Uh, okay. So, episode one. That's so weird. Okay. This game series adapts to the choices you make. The story is tailored by how you play. Let's do it. Once upon a time in New York City, there lived a community of fairy tale characters known as Fable Town. The fables who lived there arrived hundreds of years ago after they were ex exiled from their homelands. Through the use of a magic spell called Glamour, they protected their secret community from the mundane world. Sheriff Bigby Wolf protects them from each other. Today again, if you missed it, a record for the date. Hottest ever in June. Uh, 103 now, and that humidity looks low. But remember, the hotter the air is, the more moisture it can hold. So 103 with 31% humidity is a lot more humid than, say, 73 with 31% humidity. And it is muggy out there. But I don't know what 103 degrees is. That's that sounds like you, everything's melting. Guys, guys, don't have everything. So it's annoying. Not a bit of this game. I just saw something that made something extremely. Uh oh, oh my goodness! That's so cool. It's one little detail they put right in there. Like I know about um some secrets. Oh my goodness, that was cool. Probably was an accident, but I mean. <laughs> I'm a big sprung man. I don't need no woman. I'm in mid-building. Got rock sometime after midnight. Mr. Oh. Toad? 
shit. Big B. Listen, mate, I, I know I don't look human. It's a problem, I get it. I just stepped out the apartment for just a second to see what kind of damage this drunk shit is doing. Just cut me a break, yeah? I'll get me glamour first thing in the morning. Cross my arm. No need to kick up a fuss. I'm looking at a three-foot toad in a sweater. That's a problem. If you can't afford to look human, oh. you're going to the farm. It's as simple as that. You can't send me up to live with those no. animals. No. I just wanted to give him a certain talking to. You know what I mean. Go see a witch. Get a glamour. Big B, they're bleeding me dry, mate. The quality of the spell goes down, but the rates keep climbing up. Do you have any idea how much it costs to have an entire family in glamour? I don't make the rules. Sorry. I can't give you a free pass on this, Toad. My hands are tied. Right, right. No, no, There's no. too much at stake. No. Whatever it costs, it's worth it. You don't want me catching you out of glamour again. No, I don't. Fucking you know. hell! See? This is what I called you about, Sheriff. You're just gonna stand there, do something, Big B, before he completely tears up the place! I should probably go handle this. Yes, please. Thank you. Furry prick got shite. Tell me how to spend my money. Dad, the lights are shaking again. What did I say? You want a big bad wolf to take you away? No. Then get the fuck back inside! <laughs> Jeez. That dad, though. Uh, interesting dad quality. You're gonna know who I fucking am, you hear me? Hey, look at me! Um. Stop, okay? You're drunk. Oh, I want to go. Take a look. Take a good look. Things I pick up can be you useful later. I am now. Hey, look at me. Get off of me. This is the police! God damn you! No way! Whoa, whoa, now. whoa, hey, Don't... hey! You've got something on your face. Fuck are you talking about, you stupid cunt? <laughs> <laughs> he deserved that. I'll fucking kill you! <laughs> Alright, what's going on here? Ooh, dude, 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 I was trying. Keep everyone calm. What are you gonna fucking do, huh? Get the fuck out of the way before you get the axe again. Woody, this is your last warning. If you keep on like this, I won't have any choice but to put you down. Put me down? You got a shit fucking memory, Wolf. That's not how it went last time. This isn't last time. Oh, mm. <laughs> That whore is oh. gonna watch me kill you. And it'll be I wasn't expecting to do stuff. Start to aim when he's holding you.
No, oh no, that's cheap, man. gonna remember that in the morning. It's gonna hurt. You should probably get out of here. Look, I'm not leaving until I get what's mine. You're not getting shit, bitch. I'll fucking put you on the ground. Hey, if you can't be nice, I'm gonna make you wait outside. Oh, fucking shit. You bug my jaw, you bastard. <laughs> Still you talk. Fuck you. Shit. What are you doing here? These lips are sealed. Look, this is just the start of a shitty night for me. I just need the money he owes me, then I can go. Are you all right? I'm hunky-dory. Thanks for asking. <laughs> What's your name? Whatever you'd like it to be, handsome. Don't make this more difficult than it has to be. Sorry, Sheriff. Wouldn't want to add any difficulty to your night. Why was he hitting you? There we go. He asked me if I recognized him, knew who he was. I said I didn't. He started beating on me. Then you showed up, started beating on him. That about cover it, hun? I'm the woodsman, you whore. I saved Little Red Riding Hood from this monster. I cut this fucker open and filled his belly full of <laughs> stones. And threw him in the fucking river. That's who the fuck I am, you stupid bitch. Hey, what did I say about that word? Oh. Come on. Oh, oh. <laughs> Ow. I was just letting these play out and then this kind of went out of hand. My car. Yeah. <clears throat> Give me a second. Oh, no, by all means. Take your time. Make yourself comfortable. Uh, sorry about the car. We ended up going out the window. It couldn't be avoided. I can't be mad at you. I called you, and you come to help. I can't be mad. But even when you help, things end up more fucked than they started. Hmm. Well, at least you're not fucking dead. Oh, I'm getting to call. This is really awkward. No, I'm getting to call. Don't do this to me, phone. I'm pressing you as hard as I can and everything's going on that. Oh. Oh. Okay, we killed him. Yeah, well, I got a phone call in the middle of that. That was really awkward. Oh. What are you doing? I'm just getting what he owes me. You all right back there? I mean, your eyes and the teeth. You're not really supposed to do that, are you? Not if I can avoid it. Great. The guy's got an axe in his brain. <laughs> He's not feeling that. It's more for me. He'll be fine. I'll kill you, you fucking bitch. Let me help you. <laughs> He's had enough. He's a feeble. Son of a bitch can take plenty. You're right. But...
Yeah, just didn't. Just come on. Just didn't want you to actually kill in the guy. Here. Thanks. Who do you work for, really? These lips are sealed. No. Nope. Sorry. Can you write it down on paper? Hey, you like my ribbon? Beautiful. It, it is a nice ribbon. Thank you. But, uh... I feel like we've met before. We probably have. We all sort of knew each other at one point or another. But things change, I guess. I guess. But what is he gonna remember about the ribbon? Shit. Stop. We don't have to make any more of a thing out of it than it already is. Sure. Uh, he's had enough. For tonight, at least. Wouldn't be surprised if he has an axe to grind, though. That wasn't intentional. Sorry. Moss cat. How much was it he owed you? A hundred. I'm guessing bad for you to show up empty-handed. I'll be fine. No, I'm Let's not... see, I've got, uh... It's 20, 40, 7, 8, 58. It's all I got. Uh, it'll help, right? Take it. It's okay. I'll be fine. You've done enough, really. Just take the money. Okay. Yeah, take, take it. You got me out of a bad situation back there. Thanks. I'm still gonna need a statement. I have to go drop off what I have. Meet me back at my office then. It's a little late for an office visit, Sheriff. I'll swing by your apartment. How do you know where I You live in the smallest apartment in the woodlands. Everyone knows that. Good to know. You should get cleaned up. He look like shit. And I don't use that term lightly. Some of these look pretty bad. Wow. Tell me what you really think. <laughs> hey. I need to tell you something. What is it? You're not as bad as everyone says you are. Oh, that's sweet. I'll see you around, Wolf. Yeah, basically, the secret is a big, big, big wolf, big bad wolf. Get it? It's a really funny pun. And the thing with when they were driving in taxi, it was like the three marks on the window. Looks like claw marks. Oh, why is that car going really fast? 